Hello everybody, it's Doc Water Rose, and we are back in Warwood. I did not do my normal startup, I just went straight to game. Bad idea. Is there a save button? Anywhere? Uh just my mic a bit. That's not good. Alright. about this place as a shrine no matter how long you wait you cannot be attacked unless of course assassins they can't bother me now I'm out of here wait wait how close am I to where I want to go Yep, I'm out of here. Yes. I don't want to play anymore. I'm tired of you dumb birds. I'm just going. To... Today is a bit different. I don't do this stuff ever. I don't really talk about my personal life. But I have to state it because a lot of people I've seen have complained that what I'm about to talk about doesn't work. And Welcome, friend. get out of the way. <sighs> that isn't part of it. Raging NPCs is gonna come out real easily. I'm gonna be talking about dating websites, dating apps, and all those fun things because yeah, I'm in a few. I have problems. Number one problem I have, speaking to people. Uh, where was my mark in this building? I'm just going to put it here. Look at that, my junk. And when I say that, I mean, I can talk to somebody, but I'm just too timid to. It comes from being bullied all my school years t up to high school uh, just made it to where I can't talk to a person without thinking they're going to hurt me or they're going to make fun of me or that so I can't talk to people that well and in general I'm a very shy person Go ahead, now when I'm online I can talk to somebody because I can type it before I post it, I can delete it, so I have that necessary confidence. The issue I have seen is everybody wants that perfect person. They don't actually give people a chance. Like, let's just take that little encounter. That warm, all I could have known is he was going to say hi. And I shot him down. Didn't give him the chance. That's how it is on these dating sites, pretty much. Like, the only people who actually talk to me are people who are outside my range of I'm willing to go. Where I live, if you're 25 miles in a circle from where I live, then there's a chance. 30 miles, there's a small chance. Anything past uh, 35, don't even try. It's just too far. There are exceptions, as if you're like 50 miles, but you live like 10 miles outside the. 50 miles, no, you can't. So that, doesn't, that map doesn't make any sense. But if they live outside of town, I would go because where I live, there's nothing to do. There's like, we have a bowling alley. That's it. There's no place to do an actual date. Like, these dating sites are like, we will guarantee within your first five days, you will find a hookup. Me, first five days. I found inactive profiles. I found people who have not been on for months. In fact, I found one person who wasn't on for a year. 
Don't ask me why. They're on for... <laughs> should deactivate accounts if they're inactive for like a year. I don't want to talk to you. It's kind of stupid. I mean, I'm an, I'm an on again, off again, on again, off again person. I mean, I took a few months off one site. And went to a different one because, like I said, inactives. The other one was worse. Now I'm on yet another one. More active people than the other two combined. The only issue is, like I said, they want to find that perfect person. I'm just there to try and, at minimum, expand my friends. I mean, when you sit there and if you heard about my previous Okay, don't attack, that's a fun one. My previous encounters with females and dating. I broke up with the person I had loved for six months. And it wound up being not only did we break up, but all my friends went with her. So I'm sitting here like, time to start anew. Yeah, not possible. Where's this place? I've never seen this. I'm not giving up that easily. Oh. Uh, like one person I've seen, she goes, "I bet this doesn't even work." Well, I messaged her. There was a chance she doesn't message back, so that's on her. If it doesn't work, it's because you don't ever talk to people. You will die! Yeah, my love life did die. Shut up. I mean, granted, I'm not... I'm nowhere near, like, the most handsome person in the world. No one can match me! And I'm okay with that. I know I'm not the handsomest, I know I'm not the smartest, I know I'm not the fastest, I know, I know I'm not the best. I am me. I would prefer to be me, not the best at something. That's the problem with these. They want that, Mr. Perfect. And I definitely am not that. I mean, it's just annoying to see somebody go, oh. You're exactly what I want, but you're just not it at the same time. As I'm being called, it will be back. We'll just stare at this nice inventory and figure out what I'm missing. something up on my door. When you live with the parent, you have to answer the call or else you lose your privileges. That should be a different rant. There we go. But yeah, back to the dating topic. It's just... Seriously. A lot of people have high expectations. I don't. Like, the people I graduated with, the girl has to have a big butt. Uh, she's gotta have 
big breasts before they date her. And she has to be pretty. Me? Just have to have a good personality. Looks, yeah, they tie in a bit, but not 100%. few ex-girlfriends. They didn't have anything the most guys would want. Still dated them. Now it's just like, sitting in college, you're sitting here like, I'm bored out of my mind. I want somebody to talk to. Talking to friends is repetitive. And I don't know who's not much for repetitiveness. If you repeat yourself nine times out of ten in a week, yeah, I'm done. I mean, there are nice, like, there are people I know who I would assume are single. It's just tired of, like, whatever friends I do have. Because that's me. I have to date somebody I know. I have to have that friendship. Don't know why, but if there's no friendship, I'm really yeah, that's a bit iffy. I mean, most people don't understand. Like, date somebody you don't know, and the last time I did that, the relationship lasted a week. Granted, it was a hookup. I wasn't anticipating this. last of the week and I really like that person but it didn't work out Some of the people I knew are like, Oh, you should go back out with her. You should go back out with her. After I got to know her, I got to see a bit of who she is. And that isn't somebody I want to be around. I mean, yeah, that's the one time I'll be picky. Still like her, but it's just, as a friend, that's going to be where it is. I don't really think, if she asked me out today, I don't think I'd be saying yes. I'd be more like, what happened? Back to the dating sites, they're like, oh, we're going to guarantee you get this. I'm like, they guarantee you. I just spent money for this. And you guys are like, yeah, you will find love. You will be dating somebody within your first week, your first five days. And... I'm still looking for... Didn't really expect much either. Honestly, I had like. I went in with low expectations. I was. Literally. I go to these sites knowing that there's going to be a huge possibility of me not talking to somebody. And in real life. It's like improbable 
to see me talk to like a stranger because just who I am. I cannot talk to somebody. I do not know. Whee. Wait, I have that one. We all have that one friend. We all have to have that one friend who literally sits there and tries to make you do something you don't want to do. Well, that friend. Let's fish. I had to think of this because I don't want to make him feel like a piece of crap. If he ever watches this, hopefully he doesn't. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, that one friend, he's like, Yay, you can talk to this person. I already know this person. I already know. He didn't pay attention. She's with somebody. she likes. I will not be that type of guy. I just said I'm a wuss and walked off. Okay, I'll be a wuss. Very short my life, too. Mine is not smacking people upside their heads for being stupid, calling me at the middle of the night, and all those fun things. Yeah, but like, I don't know, it's just a nice little thing. Like, I like the concept of a few of these places, like, yeah, I just try and get out of your comfort zone. I mean, I don't... Oh. It's a pack car. I don't have very good face-to-face, person-to-person talking skills. I never had them. Do I think I'll ever have them? Later on in life, that's for sure. But like, not anytime soon. If I do get them, it'll be like, eh. My brother's Valentine's Day is a, like a prime example. He literally goes, "Huh, hey, you ain't celebrating Valentine's Day with anybody." Now, granted, I had to paraphrase it because that's just that's a long little talk I don't want to do. But he just literally, he literally just goes, "You don't have anybody." He's trying to make fun of me, and I'm like. I haven't met the right person. Granted, there was a chick in my college I was interested in, and as I said, too timid. I was ready to ask her for lunch, but the timid side of me wins, like always. Something you need. But uh, yeah, he makes fun of me. And I'm sitting here like, and my my counteract, my counter to him was, 
You don't get anybody either. And he goes... That, that shuts him up. But I just sat there, I'm like... There's nobody... Like, there's the one girl I was interested in. And that was it. There was, like, nothing something from else. Me? ranting about dating. So I think with that, leave everybody else to their own love lives for that matter. <laughs>